You know, internet, sometimes lawmakers just go too far. Spencer's a little upset that in Kentucky, Representative Mary Lou Marzian introduced a bill that would force men to get a note from their wives before purchasing erectile dysfunction drugs like Viagra. How can I not be upset? All I'm thinking about are those proud grandpas of Kentucky having to jump through a bureaucrat's hoop just to get a little blood flowing. According to the legislation, men would have to swear on the Bible that they won't use the pills to bang anyone but their wives, which is kind of funny. There's nothing funny about it, Michael. Are they free men or are they sex slaves? Erectile, dysfunctional, sex slaves. Well, that doesn't make any sense, but that put a terrible image in my head that I don't want to think about. Do you think I want to think about it, Michael? She's making me think about it. Look, Representative Marzine admits that the only reason she's doing this is because Kentucky's governor, Matt Bevin, signed a bill into law requiring women to consult with a doctor 24 hours before getting an abortion. Marzine's bill is more symbolic than anything. I don't see the symbolism. It's literally a dick move on her part. <laughs> it's just her way of saying, if the state wants to interfere with women's rights to control their bodies, then the state should do the same with men's bodies. And it's actually already started a pretty funny hashtag campaign. Hashtag ask Bevan about my vag. I've got a hashtag for you. Hashtag Marzian ruins Christmas. How the hell is that going to ruin Christmas? Because every year my grandmother sends me a Christmas card and now I won't be able to look at her signature without Without imagining my grandpa's boner. Oh my god. Hashtag Marzian ruins my birthday too. Keep being weird, internet.